This video is about Pixco Speed Booster for microfilters cameras. With this Speed Booster, you can use Canon FD lenses on your microfilters cameras like GH5, GH4, G9, whatever you have. I have had this Speed Booster for a while now, and now I feel comfortable sharing my thoughts about it. For this video, I'm using my first vintage lens, which is Canon FD 50mm 1.8 lens. I will talk about this lens in another video, but what I can say about these vintage lenses is that I really like the characteristics in them. What they give is that nice look, it helps your digital camera to lose a little bit of that digital sharpness, which especially I feel like GH5 camera has. And make it more soft without losing the sharpness in a sense. Imperfections, softness, flaring. I could have bought even cheaper adapter, a dummy adapter that just gives you ability to use that lens. But there's one reason why I wanted to purchase Speed Booster. And the reason is because the FD lenses are for full frame. So 50 millimeter becomes 100 millimeter on my GH5. And that is very zoomed in. And this speed booster helps close the gap a little bit. As another name for speed booster is focal reducer, this speed booster compensates the crop by 0.7, which means that this what is now 100 mm lens becomes 70 mm full frame equivalent lens, which means it is much more usable in many scenarios like these talking headshots. You cannot go very close because it's still quite zoomed in, but as you can imagine, this is very good for interview setups like this or taking uh, portrait photos. This also brings more light to your sensor, which helps bring the F stop down. Right now I'm filming at f2.8. So this is all already quite hard to find the right place because even though you have a speed booster which works with GH5, it's basically a dummy adapter in a sense that it doesn't talk with your lens. To go further it means that you have to change the aperture and focus fully manually. This is a budget alternative for something like Metabone Speed Boosters, which means that this costs under 100 euros compared to what uh, Metabone Speed Booster costs like 600 to 800 euros or dollars, depending on the amount you are getting it for. Speed Booster itself is, it is very solid and its build quality is good. You cannot expect something like high-end like Metamon Speed Booster, but it's very good, it's not plasticky or anything like that. And you have to remember, every time you introduce more glass between your sensor and your subject, that always affects the image quality. So usually it makes it softer, uh, there might be more flaring, there might be some dust in some of those lenses, and it might affect the picture quality. But that is actually something that I like about this combo. So it really depends what you are looking for. If you want to find something that doesn't look too digital. Because these cameras are very sharp and the smaller the sensor is usually the roll off of colors and light is a bit too sharp in my opinion. So this combats it. It almost like makes the picture worse, in a sense, still making it look very good. And also one thing I have to tell you before I end this video is when you attach this lens adapter combo to your camera, it asks what focal length you are using. And this is for the IBIS use, which means that you can still use the image stabilization inside the camera with this lens, even though the lens itself doesn't support any kind of stabilization. And this is very good, especially with this kind of lens, that you get these small micro-cheaters if you don't have the IBIS on. 
but what number do you choose? You have 50 mm lens, but it's 100 mm equivalent. How do you choose it? This is just simple calculation 50 mm times 0 0.7, which is 35 mm. You choose that. That way, the IBIS works as good as it can work with this kind of combination. All in all, this is very good adapter, quite cheap compared to another alternatives and I haven't had any problems. I heard some people had problems with how the adapter itself fits to your camera or how the lens fits to your adapter. I find it very snug, it clicks on very well, but some people have had this problem with this that it's not tight enough or it's too tight. But my version is at least very good. This is a very good budget way to start experimenting with vintage lenses because if, even if you buy vintage lenses and you change your camera systems you can just buy new adapters for those systems but you always have these lenses because these lenses are forever for your usage they won't break down if you don't really handle them badly and don't handle them badly and lastly uh, if you want to know more about vintage lenses, you should check Mark Holt's channel. He is the my go-to source with anything concerning vintage lenses. Thank you for watching and keep watching if you want to see more examples with this lens adapter combo. And see you in the next video. Bye.